I played that song I was in high school and uh, uh, I was 16 and we rented a great big PA in this band I was in and we set up in the theater of my high school and um, and we videoed it and it was so loud I remember I seeing in the video later that dust was coming off the ceiling like falling down from the as it should yeah you rock the place so we're here to talk about the uh, the uh, sans amp tech 21 right sans amp sans amp uh, uh, tomato tomato the Getty Lee GED twenty one twelve, which is a bass preamp, um, and we got it, and it's super cool. It is, like, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. I have one over at my place, and I've been twiddling around with it. It's really cool. It sounds really good. This is John Button, by the way. Oh, hi. And John's a friend of mine. Yeah. So Cheryl Crow, Shakira, um, Roger Daltrey, and some youngsters called the Who. Yeah, they're they're, they're doing yeah they're doing pretty well. I think <laughs> I think they're kind of getting some things going on. I, He's been I, out with I the think, Who yeah. for the last year, which has been a thrill for all of us, all of your friends, uh -huh. to see you out jamming with those guys. Amazing. Yeah, that's um, pretty fun. So rad. But anyway, one of the things that you've been doing with the Who is, I know that you wanted to get a, a little bit of that kind of gnarly, a uh, little bit of drive and yeah. grind going on mm -hmm. into the tone, which was a big part of John Entwistle's sound, right? Right. So um, you took a guitar amp out of the road, right? I did. I had uh, I had an SVT, right? Just running full range bass deal and then I split my signal and had a guitar amp cranked and yeah kind of gritty and kind of gritty yeah that's so, great and um it, it sounds great in all the videos I've seen and stuff like that yeah. it's amazing so thanks I was really happy with how it turned out super cool and it's kind of coming from the Getty Lee as well as like Chris Squire right mm -hmm. school of I think Chris used to use a Marshall for this top totally end, right and, yeah um so you know it's interesting that this bass preamp is is kind of uh based no pun intended i'm really sorry it's it's really based around that idea though right isn't it yeah. like kind of combining uh two different signals yeah that, that seems to be kind of common for a lot of bass players to have clean and dirty right? yeah because you want your low end to stay kind of together because if your low ends if only you're getting like distorted low end it kind of isn't tight and it isn't sounding like bass Right. You know, but you, if if you can have your top end kind of distorted and then you still have some foundation of the low end still a bit clear. Right. It kind of it seems to work work better. So, um in so my this is what Getty's been using as I understand it with Rush on the road. It's just this thing. No amps or whatever. He's got right. the washers and dryers behind him and stuff like that. Yeah. The appliances. Keep your clothes clean and, you know, you're tone get great dirty. Great, get great down. <laughs> That's good. Keep your clothes clean and you're tone dirty. I like it. <laughs> so let's take a look at this thing. So you, we've got, basically, you've got um, one channel. Let's talk about the second the second channel here, which is like yeah. deep. And it's right here. And this is this is basically two two controls. So I'm going to turn off the other, the other channel real quick here. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to talk about the, you've got a, you've got a, basically like a level control and a saturation control, right? Right, and that thing I, it just seems to sound like just kind of a good bass amp. Right, like just a good, like, like warm, yeah. cool bass tone, right? Yeah, like... Sounds just like a great, like a great amp, yeah. you know, like really full. And so, as I understand it, it's pre-EQ'd to Getty's personal tone, right. you know, what he thinks, and, and it sounds awesome. Yeah. Right? So that's really cool. So, so you've got that sound, and it's got its own separate, both quarter inch and XLR out on the back of this thing. Right. And then you've got um, this this second. So let's turn that down for a minute. Then you've got this second level control here. So on the second channel here, you've got like um, basically a, an option to, to blend all the way from a DI sound through to, to uh, a, a, a second kind of amp-like sound 
So you can get DI or amp and you can blend in distortion basically. And there's full EQ with like a treble uh, bass and mid range that's parametric. Right. So if you, you want to hear the DI? Yeah, so here's the straight DI bass Oops. signal, but the EQ stays active. Right. right. So, okay. So I find yeah. that channel sounds pretty darn good, but somehow when you mix in the deep, the deep thing, it just sounds yeah. suddenly really great. So does this channel sound good to you? Right? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good rock bass. Right here, let's hear it with a pick. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. A little bit of a little bit of fuzz and grind on top, yeah. which is amazing in a track. Like you can hear that grind on top, but in a track that just disappears. Totally. It's like part of it gives you your sound definition actually. It makes it blend with guitars better, I find. Totally, yeah, it makes it blend into the track, yeah. Yeah. So okay, so we got a cool, cool kind of and I've got the DI blended in at just like twenty five percent right now. I got the blend almost all the yeah. way up. So let's turn up the deep channel now. All right. That sounds, sounds good, killer, right? Yeah. It's just like having I just want to keep great... playing. It sounds so good. I know. It really does sound great. And I'm really stoked on this thing. Cause it's like, I like, you know, something I love in my studio is simplicity and like uh, the sort of the shortest from point A to point B I can get as far as getting things done is the better. So right. The fact that I got this thing mounted in here, I can just plug into it. I can make a template in Logic where I've got two bass channels up, one with the deep sound and one with yeah. the amp sound and just hit record and go and there's an awesome yeah and if you want to change something you just go boop instead of like you know what i mean well that's true too using plugins and stuff which i do do sometimes you know totally. i've been using which are great which are great various plugins and stuff but it's amazing having this thing with just the knobs right in front of you so yeah it's pretty cool yeah so. you just plug in and go i mean yeah. I, I i love this thing but i i mentioned to you i think this thing would be amazing for sort of like the project studio like music production person just need something to plug into and get a bass Great Do bass we know sound. Anybody like that? I can think of somebody. Else. Oh yeah. No. That's yeah. Exactly so you just plug doing. in, and there you go. Great bass sound. Boom. Yeah. Really, yeah. really straightforward. And yet, we're talking about Getty Lee, who's one of the greatest rock bass players of all time, and he totally. uses this as his main rig live. So it's, it's something to be said for that. There's something to be said for that too. So I'm really stoked at it. Now, the other thing about it is you you uh, have some history with with Sansamp. Yeah. I, so I had the. I have a whole bunch of those uh, bass driver DIs, right. which are kind of similar to the first channel on this, I think. Similar. Yeah. Um, I've used them on tons of studio sessions, just use that um, by itself. But also I did an entire world tour with Shakira using only that. That was my bass sound. And didn't you show up with an amp and they're like, nah, we'll just use that. Yeah, I sent all my amps over to Spain and road cases and they're like, oh yeah, I forgot right. to mention, no amps on stage. They wanted like the clean, like pop stage, you know? Right. Right. Room for the dancers. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it probably sounded great. It sounded great. And actually, it's a, there's a DVD of that tour. Really? Wow. So the bass is only the Sans Amp. That's all I had. I had just the, Do you my bass, Sans Amp. the, the name of the tour, the, D, the, the DVD? If we, if Oral Fixation. Okay. Uh, pardon my pronunciation of that, but yeah. Cool. Okay. Oral Fixation. So you can check out the... Uh, yeah, the DVD. The bass sound on that is Sans Amp only. Driver. There's nothing else on there. Well, I don't know. You want to play a little bit more and I'll tweak some knobs? And, yeah. And then we'll... Uh...
So, GED 2112 from Tech 21. It's hands amp, the Giddy Lee bass preamp. We like it. We do. It's it awesome. sounds fantastic. And there's like a simple drawing of him on the front, and he's like staring at us, right? Yeah, he... he he was staring at me while I was trying to learn YYZ, and he he was looking at me a bit with the eyebrow. Yeah, the eyebrow uh, up, a little kinda. bit. I think I felt like he was judging me. But did he push you to do your best? He did. I think he so. was pushing me, so it's a good thing. Yeah, you got him in your studio, kind of like eyebrow raised, like making sure keeping you on your yeah, keeping like you I, on your game. I can look to him for affirmation every now and then. Be like, yeah, <laughs> hey, am I doing the right thing? I'm on the right track, and he'll let me know. So it's got that going for it too. Yeah. Bonus. But sometimes I think bonus he's, feature. he's sort of looking at me like, you should have gone to law school. <laughs> you should have done something else. No. No? no. Anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, I'm Pete Thorne. This is John Button. Bye-bye. Over now. out.